welcome to PodCamp here, uh, 2023. It's uh, Sunday, February 26th. And I'm excited to share about the art of pod, uh, podcasting. Fun, serious, and discomb discombobulated. Yes, I said that word correctly. So just a little history uh, with PodCamp. Uh, my first PodCamp was in 2011. Came here, I got a shirt to volunteer, and there was uh, someone casting uh, the talks at that time. And I have a picture to prove it, I can add it here at the end. And uh, coming ever since. I've been speaking here myself, and I brought my friends Patrick Viz and Dobby, Rob, uh, Rob Campbell to share, and it's been an amazing experience, and many more. Fast forward, uh, we've had a few years of, of interruption, but I felt that I've learned a lot in the last three years, and I felt uh, this was the time to, to share it. So I'm going to give a little bit of a uh, backstory on what it is, and I'm going to cover five takeaways. So let me get started here. So let's go back to March 2020. March 2020, the world shut down. And uh, I got affected. I was doing movies. I was doing special events at that time. So I had time on my hands. My business partner, Hisham, at that time, we'd been... Uh, Working together since 2016, we're in talks for almost 18 months to produce a podcast. So at that time, we had just before a month before, we had visited a local library in Toronto to use their media room. Uh, Toronto, Toronto library, Public Library uh, has reference to many more uh, areas you can use, libraries you can use that have a green room. You're, you're shaking your head, so you're aware of that. So, but what happened is even the library shut down. So then I was like, we've already started. We came up with a name. It's called the Quantum Leaping Podcast. You can find it online or wherever you listen to uh, audio. And uh, so Hisham says, I have the team, Microsoft Teams platform. Let's use that. Great. Check mark. Then the process of creating topics and all that was a whole process. So for that part, ladies and gentlemen, whoever's listening watching this, um, there, we just did another uh, talk on this here at PC, uh, PodCamp, and I'll have the link uh, at the end of this where you can get it, or, or online. It's going to be up and online to the PodCamp Toronto um, YouTube channel, so you can find it there. So that was exciting. We, we broke a lot of downloading records in a short period of time, and I was excited in the process. You know, we went down the rabbit hole of different topics, and I learned a lot about not just being, uh, being a great reporter, but sharing important information. So that was good. We, we, were, we were on fire. And then in January 2021, I came up with my own idea. I'm going to do my own. But the minute it came out of my mouth, I was like, uh-oh, what did I just agree to do? Part of podcasting is that you have to record it, you have to edit it, promote it, and a bunch of other uh, things you've got to do. Let's be honest. It's work. But for me, uh, I had my own podcast on Block Talk Radio in 2008. It was an audio platform. So this was nothing new to me. I, I was aware that there was a process and a system. I get it. But to take ownership to do everything was a whole different animal. So that started. And the, the great part of this story is, is that uh, you know, I'm a big networker here in Toronto. I had lots of friends who I've interviewed in the past. So they were more than delighted to come on my podcast. Um, I'm going to get into what are some things that I did to make it as easy for them as myself. Then, uh, at that same time, uh, I belong to a group of, uh, called the Mercenaries Group here in Toronto, a bunch of actors, directors. And I met Jim Carrey. Not that Jim Carrey, as in gentlemen. There's another Jim Carrey. And we came up with an idea to start a YouTube channel called Looking for Jim. Now, you say, why? Well, there's a lot of successful gyms in the world. You may know someone right now, Jimmy Fallon, Jimmy Kimmel, but there's a lot more. And again, great idea, execution was needed. Now, that process, again, was interesting because it was going to be only on YouTube, and we're looking at maybe doing an uh, uh, audio as well. But again, who's our audience? Well, I really everyone's audience. It was to bring more levity to the world. And I think we need more levity, especially at that time. So, again, uh, 
I wouldn't say myself I'm a very artistic individual, but I've learned a lot. So I took ownership of, of again, the artistic, the, the logo, everything. And I really had a lot of fun with it. So now 2023, season three of Content Leaping Podcast, season three of The Pro on the Go, and season uh, three of Looking for Jim. A lot of things have happened since then. Today I want to share five takeaways. How you may have some of these issues, and if you do, how you can overcome them. Because let me tell you, there are challenges along the way. Let's be honest. There was an amazing entrepreneur named Sheena Yap who spoke on self-confidence. I will tell you, yes, confidence will be challenged <laughs> in this process. So the first is having a purpose for your podcast matters. Why this is important is the name's important, but why you're doing it. So I'm going to talk about the pro on the go. So the pro on the go was something I started a couple of years ago, uh, working on a, on a book using that name, and I created logos and everything. But in part, we're using the Block Talk Radio format. I, it was audio, so it was called Spotlight on Success. That was the the tagline. So the pro on the go Spotlight on Success. My business partner um, uh, created this amazing logo, um, and it, it was a hit. I shared it with friends, they loved it. It was amazing that you share something, people automatically get it and like it. That's great. Um, it was a process in other ways to, to make sure that I, I liked it, but I've done other, other logos where they weren't liked very much. But again, it's a process. So the pro and the go, now you may say, I'm gonna deal with uh, the big elephant in the room about people who may disagree with you. And I'll deal with that right now. They will. You know what I said? Who cares? It's mine. I had some individuals like, you're doing another podcast? Yep. <laughs> Why? You already have one. Well, I want to work on this one. I didn't get a lot, but I got a few people who just could care less. That's fine. Even some people very close to me could care less about it, but they don't even listen to it. Okay. But again, this goes back to the purpose. Now, I want to go back to this because purpose is important as what you believe in. And if you don't have faith in, in it, it will make it harder to interview individuals when you get to a thing called editing and promoting. It will seem like a, a slog. And you don't want that. You want to have fun doing it. So let's go into the fun. So this, this combobulated is I started looking for Jim. So with Jim, with Jim Carrey, we had no plan. There was no plan plan with this. <laughs> I'm telling you there wasn't. We came with the idea, I'm looking for Jim. That's it. We had some ideas we wanted to interview people, but we didn't know. So I got my little digital camera, honestly, little digital camera. It went down to Cherry Beach. We put it on a, on a, on a picnic table, press play, and we did a little intro. And actually, it was so low that we had to bend, up, bend down to talk. Yes, everybody's laughing. I mean, it was not high tech. <laughs> And every time I watch it, he's, he's, I'm 5'11", Jim is 6'3". So Jim's bending down to, to talk to the camera. And our lead-in was, the famous Jim Carrey has been our, our arc from season one. Because he's from Burlington, Ontario. Very successful. So he's the one we're after. He's the big Jim we're looking. So there is a little bit of an arc in, in, in the thing. So we do have a little bit of a reason we're doing it. So obviously we have posters and books and Jim Carrey has a cool story that uh, he may be, uh, uh, been, uh, uh, the, he may have the same doctor up in Northern Ontario because he gave birth to a lot of people at that time in that area. So maybe he, they, the same doctor gave birth to him. So we were again using some information. So we made it interesting. So we did that video and um, then uh, we, obviously in Toronto, we have a Jimmy's Coffee. Have you heard of Jimmy's Coffee? So we did a few episodes in front of Jimmy's Coffee, got the tripod out, you know, public space. We did that. And uh, we went cycling up to another place called The Gym on St. Clair. So some of the things that happened off camera were more, even more hilarious. So we should do a whole podcast, a uh, whole video on that. But at the end of the day, why I think it was working is that we both believed in what we're doing. We wanted to have fun with it. So season one was like testing it out. So the next topic is shooting 
and then becomes post-production. Post-production. So you have this. You've done it. Now, you can do a number of things. You can actually uh, delegate it and have someone else do it. Go to Fiverr.com, can a friend do it? Well, I was, uh, I was using uh, an editing package, and I got comfortable using it. So I felt, let me do this. And for the most part, I was still learning, but I had the video, and in, sh and in very short terms, I became the, the, the front, I bookended, front, back, put it together, added some, uh, at the end, uh, guest starring and all that, and rendered it and uploaded it. In, in the simplest terms, nothing too crazy, OK? But it takes time, OK? It does take time. But what I did is this. Uh, I'm a big fan of time management. Anybody else is? <laughs> so what I realized is I had to make sure the time worked well. So what I did, read a lot of great books, I've been in business a very long time, is I created a segment of time. I said, I'm going to do the rendering and the video at this time. If it goes over this time, I will stop. Take a break and go back. And for me, it was, it was the best thing I did because I felt that I just want to spend a whole hour doing it. It was, it was going to be too much. So ground rules, do it for 20 minutes, put an alarm, and then go take a break, go for a walk, come back. I felt refreshed. I felt energized and continue the process. Then the next part was, OK, separating the audio and the video for, for the audio and the video for the podcast. And I focused more on the video. The audio was a separate, separate process. But the video was something that I found very interesting. So part of the video, and, and especially YouTube and Google, you can the process is called tagging, using tag words. And it's very powerful. Like Even though I'm gonna, I was going to share it on LinkedIn and Twitter and all that, get that view ship, I felt the tag was going to be important. So my business partner says, do this, use chapter indexing. On, you can do chapter indexing on, on chapter indexing on YouTube. And that took some time. Again, everything process takes time. So that was a separate process. Maybe a couple of days later, I would sit down. I would, do, I would write it out. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I write it out. There's other ways to do it. You can use YouTube's um, option of transcribing. I just wrote it myself. It's just the way I decided to work it. I would put the chapter indexes in, and then I would save it and upload it. Now, again, I'm going through a process of everything takes time, and yes, it does. But here's the end of the road, ladies and gentlemen. You will be so gratified and so excited to have it out there and share with the world like you'll never imagine. Just like your, your own baby that you grew. And I can't tell you some of the comments that I got um, regarding like the pro on the go and my, my, uh, some of my guests, Manny Baines, who's been a guest for the last uh, two, se two seasons. He says, what an experience. And we, we got oh, like 100 plus views in a very short period of time. And again, working in the audio. But again, it wasn't the fact I was worried about that. I was worried about the content. And, and at that time, I had the time to do it. And I, I said to myself, I'm going to do 12 in 2021. 20, I'll do 12 episodes. And I did. I was down to like December. <laughs> Audience is laughing. <laughs> but 12 sounded much better than saying, oh, I did 11. You know? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I did 12. And then in season two, I did six. Okay. Now, the discombobulated part is this. Why in, why in God's name? You did one quantum leaping. You did pro on the go. Then you did looking for Jim. That's, that's quite a lot in three years. You're right. I have no idea why. But here's where, what I realized. For me, it's about living my life to the best. And someone said to me, uh, I was going for a walk a few days ago, and he says, you're living your best life. That's a term you hear a lot. And I was. Been doing media for a very long time, six years with my business partner, before I was doing it with other individuals. Why not? Have I started any other podcasts? Anything like that? No, I have not in 2023. <laughs> That's enough. Oh, not anymore. No, no. Because you may think I started something else new. I did not. No, I don't want to start another baby. <laughs> I'm a 
everyone's laughing in here. They, they know where I'm going with this. But this, this combined part is, is that there's a lot to, to learn and, and to handle. So fun, serious, and discombobulated. It is possible. But here's, at the end of the day, how I want to end with this. This is we all have a vision. We all have interests and hobbies. Nowadays, especially now, February 2023, I think media has exploded. We've had TikTok. We have YouTube. The mediums are out there. They're all out there. Am I suggesting to use them all? You can. I use them in different ways. But here's my challenge to you, because I always like ending up with challenges. Is you're passionate about something, no matter what it is. Uh, you're passionate about wine. You're passionate about food, movies. Maybe you have someone, uh, uh, a friend who has similarities. Have a conversation with them. Yeah, I saw this guy on PodCamp, and he says, oh, we can do this. Do a test. Record a video. Put it on YouTube. See how, see how it works. I think there's nothing, no, no, there's chairs here. There's no obstructions, ladies and gentlemen. The, move the chairs out of the way and walk forward to what you want your life to look like. Well, it's Sunday here today. Maybe I'll sound like I'm preaching a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. I have, I have paid a priest. <laughs> I've paid a priest in the movies. But what I like to do is this, is you have the ability to, to engage, to converse, to learn, to apply. My business is the pro and the go, but it's learn, speak, and socialize. In closing, here at PodCamp here in Toronto, at Metropolitan Toronto University, we are learning. We are speaking. I took advantage of a, an empty room today, and I have a, a group of people watching me here right now. Learning, speaking, and socializing. Socialize is what we do. I've met a few people. I've had business cards here. I met Sheena Yap. I've been a fan of, fan of hers for a very long time. I finally got to meet her in person. You can do it. You have the resources to do it. You can go to the local library, like I say in Toronto, or wherever you're watching this. There has to be environments, uh, media centers, that you can do it. Maybe the online platform, Zoom, and all other platforms that are out there. You can do this. I hope that this story of the art of, uh, uh, of multi-podcasting, fun, serious, and discombobulated, has shown you that if a guy like me can do it who had not maybe great experience but was willing to learn and have lessons along the way, but you can do it as well. So with that, my name is Jim Pagansis, the pro on the go. You can find me on hqmedia.ca is the Quantum Leaping Podcast there. The pro on the go, is, you can find us, me on YouTube, the pro on the go. Subscribe to that. Those are about 15 interviews on there right now. And looking for Jim on YouTube, looking for Jim Toronto. You'll see, uh, see us on there. And I do have uh, jimpagiamsis.ca. I just put a landing page up right now. So it's J-I-M-P-A-G-I-A-M-T-Z-I-S.ca. It's long, but it's worth it. I'll be putting more resources on there um, in the coming months. With that, thank you everyone who's here at PodCamp. Thank you for watching. and look forward to hearing more of your success stories. Thank you very much. Have a great day, everyone.